After decades of waiting, yesterday's solar eclipse was over within hours. This video from our crew who experienced the total eclipse from Baker City, Oregon. In Spokane, far less dramatic, but still had the potential to cause some lifelong problems for your vision. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. You're never supposed to stare at the sun, but eye specialists were especially concerned about people watching the eclipse without protective glasses. The Spokane Eye Clinic says only a few people made appointments because of potential eye damage, but according to our Facebook page, many others felt another kind of pain. KXY 4's Drew Reeves continues our solar eclipse coverage tonight, and Drew, you spoke with someone who says she was affected by the event. Yeah, today we asked you, our viewers, if you experienced any pain or eye damage because of that solar eclipse. Dozens of people responded on Facebook, not complaining of eye damage, but having headaches. I spoke with one woman today who says her headache was directly tied to that solar eclipse. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow! We may not have been in the path of totality, but the eclipse still produced some noticeable changes here in Spokane. It's like yellow and like a banana. Temperatures cooled, things got a little darker, but for some, it was more. It felt like the air was really close and dense. I just started feeling really different. Holly Eastman said a headache that persisted all morning long had to have been tied to the eclipse. And she's not alone. Scroll through our Facebook page and dozens of comments from people reporting the same thing. A headache brought on by the eclipse, then fading when the event ended. I'm glad to know I'm not alone, though. It doesn't surprise me, but I felt kind of strange. But if you experienced one of those headaches, you probably don't need to worry about long-term effects. Medical professionals say it was likely just eye strain, brought on by staring at the sun for an extended period of time, being outside in the sun, and wearing uncomfortable glasses you're not used to. Glasses that, thankfully, most people actually wore. The Spokane Eye Clinic says it was preparing for an influx of patients who didn't heed the warnings and looked at the eclipse without proper protection. We were expecting we'd probably have maybe somewhere around 20, 25 people calling the next day, so we had reinforcements for staffing, but we've only had about three so far. The clinic credits that low number to awareness. I think our community did a fantastic job of educating people about how to safely view the solar eclipse. And the Spokane Eye Clinic says that if you did look at the sun without those eclipse glasses on, it could possibly take up to 48 hours for any symptoms of that to manifest. If you do find you are starting to have vision problems, you should call an ophthalmologist to be safe. Reporting in Spokane, Drew Reeves, KXY4 News. Thank you, Drew.